Thank you for joining us. This is the Traders Exclusive Live Trader Showcase. I'm Sherry. Please check out tradersexclusive.com where we regularly post articles and video clips with valuable trading tips and techniques. So before we get started, I will share the quick disclaimer. You should carefully consider whether trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances, knowledge, and financial resources. You may lose all or more of your initial investment. Opinions, market data, and recommendations are subject to change at any time and past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Many thanks to our sponsors for the June Live Trader Showcase, Market Taker Mentoring, Technitrader, and Money Mentor. Please go check them out at markettaker.com, technitrader.com, and moneymentor.com. Thank you again. Um, Simon Klein is Trade Smart is here now. He's the CEO and founder of Trade Smart. Okay, welcome everybody to how to become a successful trader with any size account. This presentation is probably going to end up being around 45 minutes. So focus, and this is what we're going to cover. All about account size. Now, these are questions that you're probably asking yourself. Can I learn to trade with a small account? If you're wondering, you know, do I need a lot of money to make money as a trader? How much money do I need to begin with? You know, many traders ask the question, you know, and you may hear people saying, I don't have a big enough account to make money as a trader. That could be, but how much money do you really need to begin? And what about trading in a demo account? Ever ask yourself that? Is that helpful or, or not? So this is what we're going to cover partly. And these are the questions that we're going to answer during this presentation. And here's our agenda. Going to cover goals because without goals, you don't know where you're going. You need to know exactly where you're going. Those are your goals. We're going to talk about defining your edge because without one as a trader, you will not succeed. Talk about the trading framework and process, and then we'll go into account size and I'll open up for audience questions and answers at the end. And I'll show you also how to take the next step if this resonates with you and you want to come on board with us. Here's me giving a similar presentation at the New York Traders Expo in person, which was nice to actually meet people in person. And here I was invited to speak at the Bogo Investment Forum with other professional traders and ministers of finance from all over the world. Um, you may be uh, familiar with Jack Schwager and the Market Wizards books. He's over here. He was in the lineup, and I am over here. Again, here's a little bit about me. I've been trading for many years, and um, I'm currently doing a PhD in lifestyle medicine as well, which is not on there, but uh, I'm partway almost one year into it. So that's another interesting fact that may interest you. Okay. TradeSmart is a trading education business, and here's where it's important to listen. We focus on teaching you how to read the market professionally and how to run a successful trading business. Those are the two things that you need to be able to do if you're reading charts to be able to become a successful trader. And that includes how to develop your own trading plan and strategies which fit your personality and lifestyle. Here's a quick disclaimer. You can read that. And let's begin. Trading is a business, so treat it as a business. Hobbies cost money. Businesses make money. So let's go into goal setting. You need to ask yourself, first and foremost, why do you want to trade? And that will give you a big picture reason for what you're doing. Do you know why you want to trade? Do you really know? I want you guys to ask that question to yourselves now. And if you're watching the replay, ask yourselves that question and write down. And if you want, you can type into the chat area your answers. I'll look into the chat now and we'll see. Do you know, I mean, those of you who are here live are here to learn something about trading. Do you know why? So I'll let you know this. To make money, is not a good enough reason. You need to have a bigger reason than making money. 
So why are trading goals important? Because they give you focus and direction. They give you satisfaction when you achieve them. This provides you a positive trading experience as you're going through the learning curve. So let me ask you again, what are your trading goals? Do you have any? For example, you could have a goal to acquire expertise in reading the market. That may be the first goal, because if you're a technical trader, you need to know how to read the market. Just like if you're driving a car, you need to know how to read road conditions. You should also set challenging and feasible goals. And they should be set according to your level of mastery as well. They should be a realistic and realistic goals lead to a sense of accomplishment and progress. Very important. So this gives you a kind of bigger picture of why you're doing what you're doing so that you can get through the learning curve. Very important because as you're developing as a trader, you are most likely not profitable. And if you focus just on making money, you may never get that. You need to focus on the steps you need to do to get to consistent profits. And I'm going to share with you a bigger picture view of how to do to, to, to achieve these goals or what these goals should be, what steps you need to go through to become a consistently profitable trader. We're going to cover that. So first and foremost, you need to have commitment. Okay, there were people that would ask me when I first started my trading journey, you know, what's your plan B if it doesn't work? I said, I don't have a plan B. It's plan A and I will do it until I succeed. I'll give you another example of that. And this example given by Tony Robbins uh, many times, I'm in one of his masterminds. And he would say, you know, when you see a baby learning to walk, what happens when they fall down? They get back up again, and then they fall down and get back up again. How many times did they need to fall down and get back up until they learn how to walk? However long it takes. You ever see parents saying, ah, my child's never gonna walk because he keeps falling down? No. Does the child ever give up? No, most people can walk. So why don't we go back to how we were when we were first born. We carried on doing it until we achieved it, until we got that skill. We fell down, we got back up, we fell down, we never gave up. So that is the level of commitment you need as a trader. You need to know that you're gonna achieve it and you'll do whatever it takes. So the question you need to ask yourself is how committed are you? Will you invest in an education and training? It's very difficult to kind of make it up yourself, if you see what I mean. I hear many people doing that, but they don't seem to get very far. So why reinvent the wheel if there's people before you that have already achieved that and they can help you and guide you along that journey? Or you work on yourself. As a trader, you need to be working on yourself, improving yourself. For you to become a better trader, you become a better version of yourself. Will you learn from your mistakes or failures or will they knock you down? Will you get up every time you fall down? And will you do whatever it takes? That is the level of commitment that you need to succeed as a trader. And again, it's worthwhile having the, these things answered and clear before you start out trading. Know exactly why you're doing it, what you want to achieve, how committed you are, and then go for it. So the first thing you need to do as a trader, you need to define your edge. So what is an edge? It's an advantage you have over others. That's what an edge is. What exactly is a technical edge in the market? That's recognizing when the odds in the market are in your favor. So you need to be able to read the market in order to know that. What market scenario are we currently in and does that do we have an edge in that scenario? Do we understand what's going on? Ask yourself the question, who is on the other side of your trade? If you do not know, maybe you are the novice trader with a professional trader on the other side of your trade. So if you're buying 
the person selling to you, you know, you want them to be on the wrong side of the market at that point. So you want to make sure that you can answer that question. Who's on the other side of my trade? I'm buying here. Who's selling to me? Well, I'm selling over here. Who's buying from me? The question you need to ask yourself is, do you know what your edge is? Very important. And here's something that many people don't know. And this is very, very critical and very important. If you cannot clearly explain what your edge is, you do not have one. And the next thing I'm going to say is so important. If you don't have an edge, do not trade. You will lose money consistently. You will wipe out your account and you will consistently do that time and time again until you get an edge. You can't do this randomly. You need to have a system. You need to have a methodology. You need to have a way of doing it. There are many ways to do it. There's no one correct way. But I believe there's a methodology for developing yourself as a trader. And I believe in that respect, there is really one way to do it. And I'm going to share with you part of that methodology shortly. Now, once you have an edge, say, for example, you got an edge from someone else. You learned something and that edge works. The next question you need to ask yourself is, yes, it works for them. But have you proven your edge? It's got to be the important word, your edge. You need to make it your own. Even if you learn it from someone else, you need to ultimately make it your own. You cannot trade someone else's system unless you make it your own first. Now, you need to ask yourself, does your edge have a positive expectancy? That means that you will make money over time. For example, flicking a coin, which is head and tails. When you make $200 on tails and you lose $100 on heads, if it's a regular normal coin that's 50-50 weight, you know, not weighted in any way, it's just 50-50, then you have an edge because 50% of the time you'll get heads and 50% of the time you'll get tails. That means half the time you'll win and half the time you lose. But when you win, you win double what you lose. That means your expectancy in that case is if you make a win, you win $200. If you lose, you lose $100. So your net profit is $100 divided by those two trays, the two throws of a coin, means you're positive, you have a positive expectancy of $50 per throw of a coin. So even if you have a string of losing trades, if you do, if you flick a coin, toss a coin enough times you will make money that's what a positive expectancy is you need to know if you have one of those or not and once you know you have one the next question is can you successfully trace your edge are you able to do it can you put it off in real time it may work but can you do it does it work for you it may work for your friend who's a great trader but can you do it yourself Much like maybe playing tennis, you can see your friend doing a, a wonderful serve, but and that works and it gives you an edge. But can you do that? Can you pull it off in a match condition, under pressure maybe? So those are the important things that you need before you start. So, so far we've discussed that you need to have goals. You need to know what you're aiming for. And as a trader, if you're a technical trader, you need to know what your edge is. And you need to have proven it and you need to prove it works for you so there's a number of stages there you need to have an edge know exactly what it is know that it works and proven that you can do it so let's go into the next part of development as a trader once you have all that you need a framework every business has a business framework so trading is no different so what do you think you need i'm gonna for those of you who are who are here live I want you to type into the chat area I think I can see that and let me know what you need to what, what should go in your trading what's your framework what do you need to have in place in order to succeed as a trader and if you don't have any of these things that I'm going to mention you will not succeed so the first thing that you need to have is a trading plan okay without going into the details of what goes into the trading plan but a few things that you need to have are money management rules, 
risk management rules, they're different, and trading strategies, and within the trading strategy, you may have trade management rules. You need to also log your trades. Now, your broker, your, your broker reports are, are not good enough because the broker, you know, you download your trades from the broker. That's just not good enough because that doesn't tell you what strategy you were trading unless, of course, you have some way of inputting that and anything else about your trade. And you also need to journal your trade. Now, a trading journal is not the same thing as a trading log, two different things. Imagine it like this. A trading log is, is, is logging your trades so you can actually look at the statistics of your trades. You understand, you know, which strategy is working best at which, which time of day, which what entries, what mistakes am I making? A trading journal is more journaling you. How are you performing? In different market conditions, for example. Once you have that trading framework in place, how do you navigate yourself? What is the process you need to go through in order to trade? So there's a process, and I'm going to share with you what that process is. Okay, like every business has business processes. So in trading, no different. So you need to have routines. For example, what do you do? You know, what do you do to prepare yourself to trade? What preparation do you go through, for example? You need to ask yourself these questions before you start. Am I ready to trade? Am I in the zone? Am I relaxed, focused, calm, alert, confident? Am I ready? Am I ready? You know, don't just kind of um, run in from the front door, sit down at your home desk or whatever and start trading without any preparation. That's not, I and mean, that's, that's being ready for you, but uh, most likely you want to be more in a calm, relaxed, focused state. Now you need to ask the next question. If the market's not doing anything that you recognize, well, the market's not ready. You need to ask, is the market ready? You don't just trade because you're sitting in front of the screen and the market's moving, unless you have a plan for that. You need to ask, is the market doing something that I can trade? Is the market ready for me to take my trade? The next thing you need to have is patience. You need to wait for the market to show you your edge. And then you need discipline, which is the ability to follow your trading plan. Okay, Discipline is defined as the ability to follow a set of rules. Your trading plan is those set of rules. Now, if you don't have a trading plan by definition, as a trader, you cannot say you're disciplined. It doesn't make any sense. If discipline means the ability to follow a set of rules and you don't have rules, how can you say you're disciplined? So you need to have a trading plan in order to have discipline as a trader. And the next thing that you need to have in place is your trading psychology and emotions. Now, initially, your emotions may get you to do things that are out of the plan or not what you want to do. And you need to understand why that's happening. And you can journal that in your trading journal to uncover what's happening. And then you need to delve a little bit deeper to ask the question why. And then the next question is what can I do to resolve it if you have an issue? But emotions, when you become a more seasoned trader can actually help you because you have a sixth sense as a trader and sometimes a gut feeling about what's going on in the market. But again, you can't trust that initially because most often than not beginning traders gut reaction is exactly the opposite of what you should be doing as in you'll get out of the trade at the wrong time get into the trade at the wrong time get into the wrong trade because it kind of feels like it should and you're kind of wired opposite you'll notice over time that you know if you did the exact opposite of what you should be, or what you feel you should be doing as a beginning trader it's usually the right thing as soon as you enter on the buy the market usually moves against you now let me know if you if if that's something that you've experienced you can let me know in the chat area is the sound still good just doing a quick sound check for those of you who are watching live okay so these are very important parts of the process and guess what you need to measure your progress so if you don't measure 
you won't be able to improve. Whatever you do not measure, it, it, you don't know how to improve because you've got no measure of where you are now and your way of gauging if you're improving or not. So you have to have some way of measuring your progress. And there's many different ways that you can do that. You can look at, for example, how many mistakes did you make? How many trading errors did you make this month? Compared to how many trading errors did you make the previous month? So if you made 100 trading errors uh, trading errors in May and then come the end of June, you only made 50, well, you've had a massive improvement. And if the following month you make 20 over the same number of trades around about, then you know you're moving in the right direction. Okay, so you have to have some way of measuring that. Otherwise, you don't know if you're getting better or worse. And there's nothing worse as a trader. And I've, I've coached traders for over 15 years now. And the worst thing that I find is a trader who's been trading 20, 30 years maybe, but they've only got one year of trading experience. It's the same year repeated again and again and again with no progress made. They're basically going round and round in circles going nowhere. That's very frustrating and they've got no idea why. So let me share with you a trading process example. Now you could write this down and go through this process. So firstly, do something to prepare yourself to trade. Now come to the markets and analyze the markets you trade with a view to finding trading opportunities. You have to know what a trading opportunity looks like. Once you've done that, you wait for the market to show you a trading opportunity in your trading plan. Remember, that's part of the, this is part of the framework. Then once that happens, you take the trade. Now, this is a good thing that you should be doing. Take a picture of the trade entry because that's where you made the decision before the market played out. And then write an entry in your trading journal. Write down why you took the trade, for example, what you, what you feel like emotionally. Are you confident the trade's going to work? And then manage the trade according to your trading plan. Again, it's written in your trading plan as part of your trading strategy. Maybe it's out of your trading strategy. Maybe a manage the trade plan. Yeah, there's, you could have different scenarios where you may manage the trade differently and you plug in which way, of which way you're going to manage the trade. But then you do manage the trade according to your trading plan. The more you've got written in your trading plan that tells you what to do, the less decision making you need to make in the spur of the moment. That means you're prepared and you can have more confidence as a trader. Take a picture after the trade's completed. Did it hit your target? Did it hit your stop? So you've got a before, you've got a when you took it and a when you got out. And then take a picture of what happened next. You can use that to figure out, did I pick the right target? Is my stop in the right place? What happened next? And then enter your trade, enter the trade in your trading log. And then write another entry in your trading journal, something about the trade. What did you learn from it? So these are the points that you need to really go through on a trade by trade basis. If you do that, I guarantee if you learn the lessons from what you'll what you'll get from doing this exercise, you will improve your trading. You won't go round and round in circles if you're able to see what's working for you and what's not working for you. Everyone following so far? Okay, just type something in the chat area, those of you who are, who are here live. I don't think I can write anything here, one second. I'm not seeing any... Uh, that. Nope. I can't see the chat, but anyway, we will carry on. Now, we're getting to the interesting part that we mentioned at the beginning, all about account size. So let's ask these questions. Can I learn to trade with a small account? Yes, you can, and you should. How much money do I need to begin? Not very much. You can actually start with as little, depending on what market you're trading, 
you can start with like $500 if you wish. You can, you know, you can start with as little as $500 or maybe even less, depending on what market you're trading. We're going to go in that, into that soon. What about trading a demo account? Yes, it's good to practice on a demo account, but you have to practice on a demo account as if you were trading with real money. And it's good to, to check whether the system you're trading is actually working in and of itself. Then what you need to do is go and trade in a live market with small size, because when real money's on the line, it's a bit different, as you all probably know. But it's a good way of testing whether your strategy actually works first. You can actually test it in a demo account, or you can test forward test it in one of those software testers like Forex Tester, or you know you can replay the market in Ninja Trader, for example, if you're trading the futures. Most importantly, at this point, and even when you're trading, is focus on the process and not the money. The money is the result of trading well and following the process and having an edge. If you focus on the money as a trader, what I found is you end up losing money. Imagine you went to a surgeon to do an intricate heart surgery or whatever they were doing, and they were focused, the surgeon was focused on how much money they were making from doing the surgery, as opposed to focusing on doing the surgery. You see what I mean? Now in trading, the money is a result of trading well of trading with a positive expectancy, with an edge, the ability to, to remain calm and focused when you have real money on the line in the live market and doing it consistently. So it's very different when you're in the market practicing, it's very different to practicing when there's no money on the line. And it's a good idea to practice once you've figured out that your strategy actually works that you can actually trade it, which was the next part. Can you actually trade it with real money in a live account? So what account size do you need to actually make money consistently as a trader? So this is the, what you need to do. Most people get it the wrong way around. And you're gonna, I'm gonna share with it, this with you now. Most people ask the question, and I remember as a beginning trader myself, you ask the question, well, how, how much money do I need in my account? Do I need $100,000? Do I need a million dollars? I mean, my first trading account I traded was half a million dollar account, a half a million dollar in buying power when I was trading uh, US equities on the New York Stock Exchange. That was my beginning account. But do you need that much? Well, when I first started to trade, we, uh, we couldn't trade in, we could only trade in, in full lots of 100 shares. We couldn't trade in like one share like you can do nowadays. And when I started trading the Forex market, we could only trade in full lot sizes, $100,000. We couldn't trade in micros or minis. Very different to nowadays, much easier to trade smaller size. So this is what you need to do. Firstly, you need to look at your trading results. Once you're consistently profitable, okay? If you're not consistently profitable, Having a bigger account is not going to help you make money. It's going to help you lose money quicker. Yeah, if, you, if what you're doing is not making money consistently, doing it bigger size is not going to make a difference. Most people think it will, but it does not. Most Anyone with an excuse of, I can't make money because I don't have a big enough size account, that just think about that. If you trade with a $500 account, you could risk, say, $5. If you trade with a $1,000 account, you can risk $10, which is 1% of your account. $10 per trade. If you can't make you know, money consistently with a $10 risk, why would you be able to make money with a $1,000 risk? You won't. And most people fool themselves. So this is why most people got it the wrong, wrong way around. You don't start looking at account size until you're consistently profitable. It makes no sense. So this is what you need to do once you've got a system that works for you and once you're trading it successfully in, in, in back testing or a demo, once you're actually taking trades when the, the market sets up, you look at your results 
and then you're trading small size in the live market, you look at your results and you ask yourself the question, how many R's, that's units of risk. So we always look in units of risk, which kind of levels the playing field. Van Tharp, I believe, was the one who introduced us, our values, units of risk, as a way of leveling the playing field. So just asking someone how much money they're making a day doesn't really give too much information. You want to know how much money they're making compared to how much money they're risking. So if you're risking $10 and you're making $100 a day, you're making 10 R a day. If you've got a million dollar account and you're risking $1,000 a day and you're making $100, you're not as good as traders, the one who's making 10 R. You see what I mean? It's not the amount of money, it's how much money you're making compared to what you're risking. So how many R's are you making per month? Once you know that, and you can start with a small account size, you need to ask yourself, how much money do you want to make per month? That's the next question. Now you know, once you know those two numbers, you know what account size you need. I'm gonna share with you an example to make it super simple, super clear. Most people get it, as you can see, backwards. You need to look at your results and work backwards from that. So here's an example. Say you start with a $1,000 account and you risk 1% of your starting balance per trade. That means you're risking $10 per trade. That is your R value. Say you're consistently making $100 per month. That's 10 times your risk. Consistently, month in, month out. Say you want to make now $1,000 a month. Super simple. So you just up your R value to a to 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. So you would be making now, if you were risking $100 per trade, you'll be making 10 times that every month, $1,000 a month, all things being equal. So if your R, R value, if we keep it to 1% of our account, so if it's $1,000, it's $10 is 1%, then what account size do you need? So if you're risking $100, you need something that's, that that is 10%, that that's 1% off. So you need a $10,000 account. So if you have a $10,000 account, you can risk 1% of that account per trade if that's how you decide to do it, and make $100 $100 or $1,000 a month, which is 10R, risking $100 per trade. Does that make sense, everyone? Simon, would you like me to make it so you can see the questions box? Uh, yeah, I think I can see someone saying hi. Yes, so I can see I can see the chat. I think I can see the chat now. Well, one of the things about the organizer or when you when you're the presenter, you cannot see when people are talking to you. Ah, okay. Um, so it's going to knock your mic out for about three seconds. So hold on a second. Go for it. <laughs> One, two, three, and you're back. And just okay. so everybody knows, I am on the phone with GoToWebinar to try to figure out if we need to worry about this anymore, the audio. So now I'm going to mute myself again and you proceed, okay? Oh, and you're okay. going to want to pop the questions box out. What I always yeah, do that. is go to so the third up column down. over. I want to, yeah. I always put the arrow up so that the most recent comment is at the top. Arrow pointing up, as in the peak of the received, arrow. Received, in the received, up. yes. In the uh, Makes sense. received. Ah, yeah. one second. Uh, Okay. So you can see IQ so said, said so hour. it's, can you see, yeah. so it's better to do fixed fraction or fixed ratio position? Yeah, um, okay, that's cool. one way, That that's one way of doing it, but I would definitely start that way. And with trade management, I would start with an all or nothing type trade management as well. Start simple, as in entry, stop, target, and leave it alone. 
Okay, we, we can, we'll leave the questions to the end. Um, we, we're almost there. Um, so that's basically the crux of it. Most people start with how much money do you need when they don't, even, when they haven't even started trading. What I would say is, you know, depending on what market you're again, it depends on the market you're trading. Certain markets, you can't trade with a small risk because every, you know, every point move or every tick move it is, you know, per contract size, depending on, you know, what you're trading, could be a large amount. So the Forex market, for example, if you're trading the euro dollar, the spot market, you can trade with, you know, if you trade with a, a micro lot, then every pip move of the euro dollar is 10 cents. Now people say, well, Forex is risky. Well, it depends how much you risk on the trade. You decide. If you want to, you know, take a position of, uh, you know, one micro lot, for example, then every pip move, and if you get maybe, if you look at the average range of a day, for example, say it goes 100, I mean, you could literally get into the market and if it moves 100 pips against you, it's almost nothing. Yeah, so, so what's your risk? What's your maximum risk? You look at the average true range for a day, no matter where you get in, and, and it's only if you get in at the extreme are you gonna get that move, and if, you know. So it, you can literally have very little risk dollar-wise when you're starting out. So I think, you know, um, the Forex market is a very good market to learn how to trade on. It's also, it doesn't have overnight gaps most of the time. You have weekend gaps, though, when there's lack of trading, and you have gaps in the stock market every day. You know, in some stock or other, there's a gap because there's disc, it's, not it's not continuous trading. So start with your results. Go through the process in order to develop yourself as a trader. Make sure that when you're trading, you're trading your system, that you make it your own first, and start with your results once you're consistently profitable, and then work back to how, how much money you need to have in your account, depending on how much you want to make. There's no point discussing how much you want to make per month in the market until you're consistently profitable with what you're doing. It makes no sense. You have to start somewhere, get consistently profitable with what you're doing, and then the money will come. Okay, so you have to go through the steps in order to get that. Focus on the money, then you're not focusing on what you need to do in order to get the money that most people want. It's not a get rich quick scheme. It does take time and effort, but you need to learn the process. You need to learn the foundations like with every other discipline. If you start at the strategy end, then you're missing out because that's not the foundation. It's a bit like starting a building with a beautiful design of a building without understanding how to build foundations for the building and understanding a little bit of engineering or civil engineering and understanding forces and physics and everything else. You need to understand that when you're putting a structure together. And once you understand that, you can develop whatever structure you want because you know what foundations you need for whatever you're going to build and you can adjust, you know how to put it together, you know the framework, you know the process. When people, when builders put buildings up, there's a process you go through. You know, there's a design, there's an engineering team, there's a, it all comes together. But they don't just kind of just put it up, <laughs> you know. They, you need to make sure it's safe, it's not gonna fall down, it's earthquake proof, there's many different things that you need to do. In trading, what, me, what do people do? They jump straight to the strategy and focus on the money and end up not winning. If you ever ask yourself why the majority of traders are not successful, which is true, I think the success rate is probably less than 10%. Now, that's not a very good success rate, is it? Imagine if the success rate in medical school was 10%. I think it's higher than that. But that wouldn't be very good. I mean, wouldn't that mean there's something wrong with the education? So, yes, you know, focusing on what, on what someone wants and interested in buying to make money and focusing on that, that sells, but it's not going to give you the results that you want because you have to focus on what you need, which is a harder to sell from a marketing perspective. So that's why I believe the, world, the, the education, the trading education world is the way it is.
But I think you really need to start at first principles at the foundation level and build from there. So today we've discussed how to define your goals, how to uncover your edge, the trading framework and the correct trading process. So now you have seen a framework and process you must have in place to stand a chance of success as a trader. I'm gonna invite you to take it a step further and learn how to read the trend using pivot analysis, as in using the, the candlestick charts alone, no indicators needed. Let me share with you what the benefits of knowing how to read the trend. Now this is stage one in learning how to read the market so that you have an edge. Make sure you, you trade in the direction of the trend. Remember, the trend is your friend until the bend in the end. Know when the trend begins and ends. Make sure you're never fighting the trend. Make sure you're on the right side of the market, or you can develop a profitable, help you develop a profitable trading strategy or enhance an existing trading strategy if you want to filter what you already have and make it, you know, make it perform better. So here's my invite to everyone who is here, is to join my How to Read the Trend training session plus trading room, and this is what you're gonna learn. You'll learn how to identify the current trend of the market, to analyze the trend in multiple time frames, exactly when a trend begins and ends, and how this knowledge will dramatically affect your bottom line. And also you'll be able to watch us analyze and trade the live markets in real time, and you'll see us go through the process so here's what people are saying. Ernst, Simon, this is phenomenal. I've been trading, studying for three years. Sadly, it's all been the wrong process. I've wasted tons of money, time, and effort. I've actively, actively deleted all, those, all of those programs, indicators, and now completely focus on what I've learned from your program. It's the only real way to trade, and it makes complete sense. He is now a consistently profitable trader. Tom, I wanted to say that what you teach in How to Read the Trend training course is brilliant. Before that, I picked up bits and pieces from different traders, but it was never joined up. Your course brought it all together in a very structured and algorithmic way. No guessing needed. The facts jump off the chart. Matt, the trading room is very helpful in understanding how to go through the process. I've been trading for 11 years and I've not seen anything like what you do. Love how simple it is. I trade, I mainly trade options with trades that last 30 to 60 days. I've been looking for something I could use to day trade for two years now. I want to round out what I'm doing with another source of profits. I've not been able to find anything I could execute consistently. I'm just paper trading with your system and I've been doing it for a couple of weeks now and I've had far better results than anything I've ever tried. So this is what you get with the training. It's about an hour and a half and the regular price of it is $497. It's on demand. You can watch it as many times as you want. And you also get personal access to me. You can ask me any follow-up questions after you've gone through this session. But this is more, the most important part is you're gonna get access to the live trading room for one month. Now the regular subscription is $497 a month. You also get access to our online trading community via our Discord server. Now this is a great way of learning in the live market by, and you can ask questions as the market's playing out. You go through trades, you know, the, what, reading the market, what's happening. And um, as my traders tell me, I get it right on direction and where the market's gonna go and if it's gonna break a level and go to the next level and where they are, about 90% of the time. I was audited by a, um, a postdoctoral research fellow at Princeton University for about five or six years ago now. And he went and looked through seven months of my data, seven months of kind of analysis and everything and came up with an accuracy back then of 85%. So do you wanna be right between 85 and 90% of the time on actually reading the market? Again, you don't need to know what the market is going to do in order to make money consistently. You need to be able to read what it's doing right now. And we usually think in these scenarios, what's the highest probability from what we're seeing now in this scenario? What's the highest probability? Is it going to go this way or that way? And we go with what the highest probability is as the market unfolds. Here's what our trading community look like. You can, you know, and we have a Discord server and um, people Discord. We have a community of traders from all over the world. So here's the offer. Basically, if you join now, the regular price is 994. 
Okay, the, the deadline is two days from now for those watching here. You're going to get $497 off. So basically, you'll get a whole month in the trading room off, or you'll get how to read the trend, whichever way you look at it. Um, you're going to get $497 off. It will give you time to go through the training. You'll have access to that training for life. And you'll have come into the live trading room and see how what we teach from a theoretical standpoint, we it's actually practical also within the within the training because we take it to the live market, how that is put into practice in the live market every day. So this is the link for those of you who are watching. You can go to tradesmartforex.com forward slash promo. And let me show you what that looks like. Uh, here we go. So if you go to my website, um, this is what it looks like over here. But once you sign up, this is you'll come to this page. This is the page you'll come to. So you can click on the link. Maybe, Sherry, you can type it into the chat area. Um, Show me it one more time, pretty please. So I can maybe I'll just take in and put it into here. Does that, does that work if I do it like that? Yep. Yeah, and it goes to the chat, and then you want it to make sure it says all entire audience. Um, here we go. Chat. All entire audience. Type it in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, or you can just type in tradesmartforex.com, the number four, forward slash promo. So just How to read that the link trend plus trend, right? Yeah. Yeah. But there's another link that will get you there as well, forward slash promo. Um, okay. So th this is basically, you know, the um, where you get, get to. And if you click on here, it will bring you to the checkout. Now, you fill in all your details. You don't need to have a PayPal account. That's just the... Um, payment processing you can put any email in there you don't need to pay you don't need a paypal account and you can pay with a credit card if you wish you just right. pick it on checkout to choose credit card i want to point your attention to this it says monthly now you can cancel any time it's a monthly subscription to the trading room where the first month is free and again you can cancel that any time so uh, you can cancel immediately if you want it will never be billed again it's entirely up to you. But come in, you'd have to make that decision straight away. Come in for one month and check it out and see if this will work for you. This has changed the lives of so many traders since we've been doing this. Um, it's pretty remarkable. So I'm pretty confident that, you know, at least if this resonates with you, that you're going to get a lot of value. Yeah. And very quickly, once you get in, you can click on in my website, you, you can click on the members here and it'll bring you to the membership portal. This is the membership portal. And how to read the trend is within this portal, within this membership site, and the trading room is here. So this is what it looks like, the training on the inside. Again, you only get access to session one. This is session one of how to read the market professionally, and this is it. And the trading room is over here, and you get over here is the live trading room, and it'll give you, if you go in there, it'll give you a schedule and a link to join into the live room. All sessions are recorded. We've got the, you can go and watch today's session if you wish. And we have weekly preparation session, which is a standalone subscription, but you get that as part of the package at no extra cost. It's free for a whole month. You can come and join us. So that's basically what the offer is. How to read the trend is $497. One month in the live trading room is $497. It's 994 Here's the link that will bring you to the same page. And today you can pay $497. So I've showed you the checkout. If this is for you, go for it. That's your risk, $497, and hopefully you will get a ton of value from it. If you've got a lot of value from this presentation and learned something, you're going to learn a tremendous amount. You can ask questions from what you learn. You can ask questions about trading in there. We're a community of growing traders. Our motto is no trader left behind. So if you want have any questions, you can, um, you can ask them now. And if you have further questions, you can email me, simon at tradesmartforex.com. So at this point, I want to take an opportunity to say a huge thank you to all of you for watching this. Thanks to Sherry for organizing this event. And when I first started trading, we didn't have such events. So you guys are so lucky that you, that this trade is willing to share so that you don't have to, you know, we can condense decades into days, literally, and save you, you know, this is the self-education industry for trading. We can save you, you know, literally a lot of time. When I was younger, I used to think that I used to use my time to save money. Yeah, 
needs to go and find where you can buy things cheaper, for example. As you get older, we use money now to save time because time's very valuable. Once it goes, it never comes back and you want to maximize your use of time. So sometimes it's worth paying for that and to get the value so you can get you there quicker. So huge thank you to all of you. And again, I'll look for questions you. if you have any. Okay, guys, if you've got questions for Simon, now is your chance. And I have posted the link to uh, the offer, tradesmartforex.com forward slash promo. You also probably see the link for, uh, takes you straight in there. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this over here. Um, let's see. I'm gonna put it right here and send it to all. There we go. So you should have it in two places. Um, then I also posted your YouTube channel. And oh, I yes, that, you can... that's huge, huge for people to be able to go into YouTube. But guys, this is a, you know, half off. Come on. You probably will make that much. <laughs> well, I can't say that, can I? <laughs> but the possibility uh, is I mean, there. Yeah, yeah. But you have to invest in yourself. I mean, if you, you know, as Jim Rohn says, for things to change, you have to change. For things to get better, you've got to get yeah. better. Work on yourself. Even Warren Buffett says, on that, says that as well. Uh, yeah. Focus on working yeah. and developing yourself. Invest, invest in, yourself. in yourself. That's right. <laughs> hey, are you familiar with Gary Dayton? Uh, I've heard the name. Uh, IQ is asking, is it similar to what Gary Dayton does in his sessions? So, uh, IQ, I don't think he's going to know if it is similar. What you should do is check it out and um, then make a decision and let us know. How does that sound? I'll give you one example. One example. Um, I have a trader who was in my program probably about seven years ago now called Jane Sama. Now, Jane did really well. She came to the trading room. She did exactly this training. That's how she started, how to read the trend and came to the trading room for a number of months. And she she then developed her own way of trading, focused on that after she had the foundations. And she became so consistently profitable at trading NQ at the cash open. So in our Discord server, she was sharing what she was doing that the members in the, uh, of our Discord server um, wanted her to teach them how to do it. So we put on out of, uh, you know, request from the from the community to put on a training. So we put on that training and nice. then we put on a more advanced training because they requested for that. So here's a trader who I trained who's now training others training. how to train <laughs> you at the open. Isn't that great? She's successful yeah. and now she's training others how to be successful. That's excellent. Quite nuanced. So yeah. um all right. Anybody have any questions? We got one minute. Excuse me. And again, if you have any other questions, feel free to put my, um, take my email. Uh, let's go. Yep, I put it in the chat. It's in the chat, uh, and as, along email with your. Me. Yep, your email. Got it. Anybody else have a question? Then we're gonna let Simon reclaim them. No, it's 1 p.m. It's time. You didn't get to reclaim okay. a minute of your day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Everyone. Always a okay. pleasure. Thanks, Jerry. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Have a good day. Many thanks to our sponsors for the June Live Trader Showcase, Market Taker Mentoring, Technitrader, and Money Mentor. Please go check them out at markettaker.com, technitrader.com, and moneymentor.com. Thank you again.